everybody wants to get united. Like, what we gotta do is meet everybody in 149th Street at the bench. Guys, I got a video that you're gonna be interested in today. You see, a filmmaker went ahead and reached out to me and let me know that he's got some amazing drone footage of the graffiti tower. So I figured today we can go ahead and look at that footage and check out some of my favorite pieces on there. If you want to go ahead and check out Sean's video, I got a link in the description down below. In all honesty, it really does have some of the best shots I've seen of this building. All right, so opening this footage up right from the start, I'm already seeing pieces I like here. Like this right here is amazing. Just the fact, I mean, anybody who hit these spots, incredible work. I particularly like this one. As a matter of fact, Sorak did some amazing work right there. Now, I don't know how big that ledge is, right? I don't know how much space they have, but just from here, it definitely looks a lot thinner than these platforms, which I could be wrong about. I don't know, but I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody's fallen off this thing yet. You know, that's kind of crazy. Wait, no, you can't just gloss over that whole time. Go back, go back. Look at that MTA straight. Oh my God, man, that that is nice. That right there is definitely going pretty high on the, on the top there. Rackham right there, that, that, that's a pretty clean little straight letter. I like it, I like it. You got some other work right here I can't really make out too well, but it looks like it would've been nice. And Shaq also has a pretty clean straight letter as well. Ooh, man, yo, look at that. Oh, I wish there was a little bit more sunlight on this one. That, that is clean. That's real nice. You, I mean, how many floors is that? Six floors, two letters, and it looks beautiful. They lined everything up perfectly. Like, they, they did a really solid job. Now, before we continue looking at some of the amazing pieces on these buildings, I want to let you guys know, we have a free digital sketchbook that you can download. And if you use something like uh, the iPad Pro or Procreate or even Photoshop, you can download the digital sketchbook and draw on it. And whatever you draw on there, feel free to send over to us at the artist block. When you do, we'll go ahead and slap it into the book and share it with everybody who's on the email list. It's our traveling sketchbook that we have, and we've already filled it with a lot of your guys' work. And all you have to do to get the free digital sketchbook is sign up for the email list. You know, I'm kind of liking this gems piece as well. I mean, once again, most of these are going to be very simplistic straight letters. They're not going to be, like, you're really not going to find a very bombastic wild style on these buildings, right? Just to kind of set expectations, if you will. But that gems piece, I like it. It's nice, clean, and crisp letters. I can get down with that. This almost one I, I would have liked, but it looks like they started to run out of room, like they didn't quite plan out as much, which is why I'd pick the gems over the Omar, despite the fact that they are very similar in a lot of different ways. Oh, man. All right, there we go. I was right. It was RKC, and that looks gorgeous. I actually really enjoy how they threw in the pink in order to help kind of make things pop out, make things look a little bit different instead of having that same green. Now, who knows? They might have just run out of green paint and decided, you know what? Screw it. I'm throwing pink in the background. People got to deal with it. Regardless of their reasoning as to why, it still looks really cool. I, I like that little touch on there. It looks like people even rocked some pieces on the inside of the building as well, which you can see right here, and you can see it over here as well. Oh, man! They have some really nice work here. So here we got a beautiful shot of Bigo. I think that's how that's pronounced. My apologies if I butchered the name. That's just how I would say it. And I really like that piece. That, that one might be one of my favorites, in all honesty. If I were to separate it into, like, the really big blockbusters versus the more kind of, like, straight letters and pieces similar to this, I would say this might be my favorite of the pieces. Because not only is it nice and simplistic and clean, but it also has a little bit of funk in there, a little bit of style just dripped into each letter, and they pulled it off gorgeously. There's also something that gets me about those dusty fill-ins, like the low opacity white fill-ins. They hit the spot just right. And that's what he's got going on right there. I really enjoy that. This is also another really beautiful piece, especially when everyone else is predominantly doing white and blacks or silver and blacks, simple straight letters, you know, stuff of that sort, and then you get something really nice like this. It's a beautiful beautiful touch against everything else that people are rocking here. And that's not to say that other people aren't doing the same, right? You can clearly see a green piece over here as well. You got one up here as well, but you get my point. Sec here got a nice spot. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I'm surprised somebody hasn't stolen that spot from him. I, I am shocked. I am flummoxed, flabbergasted that somebody did not go up there and take this from him because th that's a standout spot. Especially the fact that you got all these floors beneath it that don't have pretty much anything as big. Like his throw, two of his letters equals this guy's entire piece. Regardless, beautiful spot. Then I, I like that next piece. That next piece is, is clean. So as far as the big boy graffiti is concerned, the MTA might just take the cake. And if, if I understand correctly, it looks like the 3D actually st starts on the other side of the window. Like, they painted the letters here, and then painted the 3D over here. That's at least what it looks like. I could be wrong, but if that is the case, extra points for that, because that's a really cool way to go about it. Also, the other big piece that we pointed out before the I believe it was RB that 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 one looked really good six floors of pure perfection those two 
two might be at the very top for me. And then from there, it'll be the RKC after those two. Now, when we come down a notch and we look at just the one floor pieces, your ordinary pieces that you might see, I think I'll have to give that number one spot to Bigo. I think, once again, I always feel weird saying that name. I feel like I'm saying it wrong. But <laughs> I think that's going to take the number one spot for the smaller stuff. And then it'll probably have to be Gerbs after that. Oh, man. Wait, hold up. Gerbs got two pieces on these buildings. <laughs> that guy went above and beyond. Nax is another one. I think I'd place him probably in number three because I really enjoyed his piece here. With that said, I think that just about wraps up today's video. There was, there were, I mean, honestly, there was too many incredible pieces of work on these buildings. And if you want to check out more of those pieces, you'll find Sean's video in the description down below. Now, for those of you guys who want to get better at graffiti, check this out. We just recently released our brand new ebook, which teaches you all of graffiti's fundamentals in a comprehensive way. We talk about topics that have never been talked about in graffiti before, and it truly is the only place to learn most of that information. If you're looking to find and evolve your style, the book's got it. If you're looking to improve after years of dedication into graffiti, you feel like you're in a bit of a rut, the book's got that information as well. You're struggling with flow? The book will teach you how to do that. So learn all about style and much, much more by picking up our ebook in the description down below. And if you want more video content, well, check out the best how to do graffiti playlist right up here with more graffiti content right down here. And I'll catch you guys back here next week. Thanks for watching.